Hello again. Um, today's video, being that the car has a problem with the brakes, is will be me lubricating this. I see mill 107 with oil train oil. Um, I haven't actually um, lubed any these up yet um, with it, but it seems at least to me like it should be probably some better stuff out there for it. Um, I don't know if you can really see it. Um, there's a nice big long needle on there for getting into uh, model trains. Bought this years ago now. Um, so you use about a quarter of a bottle. Um, it's non-petroleum based. It's made for um, model trains to be able to prevent rust and um, prevent wear on all the plastic parts and ends up um, it doesn't damage them um, like petroleum products do um, so I guess what I'll do is um, get it in there on the um, small gears on the motor over there, and get some on the uh, medium gear in the middle, and then the small gear on it, and I'm just spinning that around, and it'll eventually work its way in. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I'm top going to sleep. It was like me. Get a little bit more on the. Um, Main gear, you know, put some of this main gear, that gear, that gear, and some of that gear. So, and then you just keep on spinning it around and it works its way into all of these parts. You can feel it moving a lot easier now already. And that's just after putting a little wee bit on. It's not even fully greased yet. It, um, like I said, it's made for model trains. Um, this is, you know, pretty close. Um, you know, oil up in here where the um, shaft goes through this little plastic part. To work its way down into that. And then, um, I'm trying to think what all else. Um, between the gears, that needs. Right, between, um, I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, between the main gears and it, that'll need um, a bit of oil. In there and we might as well get a little bit on the uh, bushing down at the bottom. Not really, like it doesn't actually have any uh, bearings, but it um, has plenty of bushings and different things that we need lubed up. Um, no, stupid laptop keeps going into sleep mode. Um, you just keep on um, repeating that till you've made sure that every little thing's oiled and greased and ready to go. Um, you heard on the forums that do it and it can reduce some toilet bowl effect. So hopefully that happens because this has a little bit of toilet bowl effect going on. Um, you can see it's before when done that would it really makes it nice and smooth. Um, I'll have like I'll have to um, 
rev it up a little bit at very low speed. Uh, try working in. Um, and then, um, being that it hasn't really been oiled yet before, um, I might need to do a little bit more with it. But uh, um, as my signature black nose on it right there, I do that on all of mine. Grand seventy two so far. Um, something else I figured out: I have three remotes. One or two. Speed 111 and one for that one. They each control each of the three helis. So I figured out, I don't know if you can really see, take a sharpie, outline out, looks pretty darn good. Easy way to um, keep your controllers separate. You know, easy way, yeah. Well, I'm flying the yellow one, I pick up the yellow controller. Find the red one, pick up the red controller. And the uh, yellow one didn't work out as well because, well, it's yellow and pretty darn light. Um, yeah. Um, Looping up the 102, I'm pretty sure that'll be a lot harder. Um, 107s, that's real easy. Um, you don't even have to disassemble it. Um, there's probably other points I should oil. I should probably oil up in here, but I'm not going to. I don't think it's that important. Um, something like that, it would probably just yeah, do nothing. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not, I lost one of the dog bones. That's a real ripoff. I hate how the flipping dog bones cost you. I think it's like a buck a piece for something for just like half a cent for the plastic. Um, but spin this round and you're not hearing any major um, like grindiness or anything. Um, yeah. um, you know what? I still have some time. I think I'm going to go grab my red one and show you that. Alright, here's the red speed modded one. Um, it's kind of custom speed mods. Um, of course it has the inverted tail rotor, but it doesn't have a classic speed rotor. It has a one-off, that fake one, or, well really it's a hybrid, um, which, I don't know if we... I don't know if you saw it really, but um, I don't know if you can tell. Green motor and black motor. Um, it's well, half fake, half real, I think, anyway. Um, somebody must have returned there or something, but you know, after one motor blew. But, this one, it was a rebranded one. I bought it at Aldi's uh, after I found out on the forums. Um, the bottom part here is made out of just cheap plastic off of some packaging or something like that. Um, landing skids from this one are on the yellow one. The ones from the yellow one are these. And they were The metal part was just really banged up and covered in electric tape goo and so I took that off and just used these um, but um, let's see sharpie it black here and here and up here and down in here and made it look pretty good um, it's very very fast um, it's nothing like some of these speed modded ones but it's still um, very fast but it's insanely hard to control um, it crashes constantly at least once a minute it'll crash um, whenever you're flying it um, 
just simply because it's not nearly as stable now. Whenever I first bought it, it was just a Cadillac, but now that it's more like a Corvette or something, it, you know, it, uh, there's a lot of shake back in here. Uh, it's not nearly as stable. Um, so I have the parts so I could easily uh, convert it back. Um, but I'll oil this up in a minute. Um, yeah, the car is out of brake fluid or something. I don't know. It has a slow leak or something. So, yeah, not uh, not school at the moment. Um, as soon as my dad gets home from dropping my mom off at work, then I'll be going. But yeah, until then, um, but I'm. Probably going to buy the um, SO29G uh, large uh, dolphin. Uh, I'm not positive though. Um, it's already out, it's on Amazon. Half the reviews for it are that it's awesome, it's great, best selling they have, or people ever bought. The other half of the reviews are it's garbage, don't buy it. It's the worst seam out there, so I don't know what it is. You know, it's worth a shot. It's the cheapest of the medium sized ones. That I think it's twenty five dollars. Um, you know, it's really nothing. Um, it's um, some of the complaints are um, just all they're all over the boards. A lot of them are that it's made out of a really cheesy plastic, uh, almost like a vacuum form plastic or something. I'm thinking, um, I'm looking at what their videos on YouTube, it looks like it. A um, few people have had problems with, uh, like the tail rotors not being good. Uh, Either it'll be really, really slow moving forward, backward, and I um, you know one person um, subscribed to his channel. He looked like he was pretty good at stuff. Um, he um, had a problem of it was just a two channel. Um, so I don't know. Um, but it's worth the 25 bucks to try, I guess. Um, but, and then other ones are that it's really unstable and uh, it has a slow turn to it. Um, like it'll slowly turn like that. Um, I'll see. I don't know. It, some other ones sound like they're bad batteries. So I might end up having to put a $8 battery into it. I don't know. Um, it, you know, I don't know exactly what the whole problem is. Um, well, this video is over. My dad just got home. So, see ya.